And once you wear out your first pair of boots, you're done. Why is that? They say if you make it through your first pair of boots, you'll be out here as long as you're physically able. If the water gets in your blood, I don't know what it is. You know, Cargill's rather agnostic about transportation. We, we, we ship a lot of stuff by barge. We ship a lot of stuff on, rail, on the railroads. We have a lot of rail cars. We, we load and unload thousands and thousands of trucks every day. But, you know, the, the waterways are extremely important to our customers. You know, farmers need the waterways to effectively get their grain to the world market. Likewise, our customers depend on us to provide, to get road salt back up the river, things like fertilizer. Our barge company, which is about 1,300 barges, we, we handled over 100 different commodities last year. There's a lot of stuff moving up and down these rivers every day, and it's vital to the U.S. economy. You know, there's almost $200 billion of goods that move on the waterways every year. And, and a lot of people would say we can shift that to, to some other mode, shift the capacity elsewhere. I don't think so, and you can't do it effectively. You tell me how you're going to get salt off an island in Louisiana to Minnesota on a truck. It, it's just not feasible or possible. replicate the, the tra transportation that we produce with our 5,000 barges would require several million trucks uh, and uh, moving across the country and uh, that's kind of a indication of the uh, uh, we some often call ourselves the silent mode of transportation because because many people even those that live along the navigable waterways don't know that we uh, that we really exist and we have a huge amount of investment that has been built around this river over the last centuries and, and it's been a strength of America over the years and, it, and, it's, and we need to think about the reinvestment if we're going to continue to grow in, in, in the world markets.